Opa. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna mess up. Wait, where's the. Sorry, sweetheart. We walked in at 8 o'clock, so well, where's maybe our another I'm gonna do moments or something. Closer, Alicia, okay. And. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay. Ready and put it up. Very happy birthday. I know this year has been very different from previous years. But the heart of wanting the best for you in life has never changed. Hi, Mom. I appreciate that. Should I do it then? I would like. Hello. I would not do for your mom. Why did I pick this class? I said I wanted this year to be different, so might as well start off with the weird, different class. How did we get here? No, 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 no. Today is not the day for that. Afternoon loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. Happy New Year! Hope you brought in 2023 with your loved ones and good vibes. I'm gonna make a avocado smoothie. As you can tell earlier today, I was trying to do things different, okay? My mantra for this year is to live different, you gotta do different. I wanna do something different every single day. Maybe not my yoga practice different every single day, because that one was kind of weird, can't lie, but hey. I definitely want to get out of the rut I've been in. If you saw last week's vlog, you know what I'm talking about, but we're gonna start with good vibes, kick off the year. I love when the year begins on a Sunday. I just feel like it's a fresh start all around. So I'm so happy that my place is clean. There's nothing like waking up to a clean apartment on the first day of the new year. And no hangovers over here, okay? You saw what I was up to yesterday. It was such a random mashup of friends, but it was good vibes all around. And I'm happy and grateful. And good riddance to 2022, honestly. Mm. I'm a sucker for almond butter. I got a lot to do today. I had wanted to post all the TikToks that I was late on yesterday, but I also wanted to live and go out, so I didn't do it. So I think I'm gonna do that. So if you follow me on TikTok, you might just get 20 or so TikToks today because I'm just going to try to get out everything that I didn't post that I was supposed to. Actually, two is enough in 2023. Same with Instagram. I might Insta bomb you guys today. We'll see. I want to get on my A game as far as content creation goes. I've been consistent for the last 12 years. So, you know, I can take a break. All right, there we go. There's a lot in my mind right now. A lot of things I want to do and get done. That's how I feel at the beginning of every year. By March, I'm like, poof. <laughs> at least I make it to March. I remember when I used to go to yoga in a studio, it would be packed. Packed to the point where I couldn't find a place to put my mat. For the first two weeks of January, maybe even three weeks, but by February, pff, yoga who, yoga what? Oh, I kind of miss going to the studio though. But I'm very proud of myself when I was going through, I only missed, I think, three or four workouts. I worked out every single day, except for three days in 2022, that's crazy. I need to get some protein in my system. Avocado in the water hack, game changer, I'm telling you. Because I usually don't eat a whole avocado unless I have guac. Oh, the rain is so peaceful. This has to be the most mild New Year's Eve, New Year's Day ever. Younger me would have been living for this, but then again, when you're young, you're immune to cold anyways, because some of them outfits were not saying Toronto blizzard weather when we were having blizzards for New Year's Eve. But you know what? <laughs> young. Forever young. And then, then, voila, voici le smoothie. <laughs> That's one thing I need to practice more, my French, because it's so bad. And every year I say I'm gonna be bilingual again, and life happens. Where is my straw? I wanna get more creative with my smoothie game. Christmas is still here. Okay. So I'm gonna finally be warm. Really? Thank you. I'm gonna put it on my bed just now after I move this stuff off. So I can actually have warmth. It's just because we got two days of mild weather doesn't mean the cold is not coming back with a vengeance. It might be even worse the next storm we get. I know. That's why I'm still in my um Winter coat? It's no feather, right? Hmm? It's no feather, right? I don't know, I can't remember. I have one too. Read it, please. Um, Canada down feather, do it. Okay, hopefully the feathers don't come out. No, they won't. 
because every time I sleep under my bed, so many feathers. No work. Bigger apartment with less dogs. I know where you go these days, it's your dogs, condos. I'm going to go for this. Gross. Mm -hmm. I was have to wipe down the washing machine yesterday when I did the laundry. You wouldn't want to see how much I wiped out of there. This place is nasty, no, it's nasty, it's the front body. As soon as you come up to the front, you smell the rawness. Well, he just comes to my house and fixes all the stuff. Oh. You. <laughs> Where am I going to put a real monitor in here? You can get and pay another desk. Where am I going to fit a next desk in right here? Right here, at the side. Oh my gosh, sir, that's not aesthetic. Eh? It's not aesthetic. What do you mean that's not aesthetic? You, you want it to work. That's the only thing to make it work. The OT said... This is, this is a lock. The lock of the laptop. Oh. Well, I should be bringing that to work then. I didn't even open it. Is it a passcode? Hmm? Is it a passcode? Yeah. You know what I'm saying to you? I understand. So, why they gave me something right, but Apple is not compatible. That's what IT guys. Oh, okay, let's put this away. I'm gonna make my bed with my new duvet. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Because the chill is gonna come. And I have a feeling when it comes, it's going to feel even colder than it did with the last cold blast. All right. Where does this go? I don't even know at this point. Oh, it's so nice my stepdad visited me. Whenever he comes, he either cleans or fixes up my stuff. Parents, I tell you. My mom's the same way. Whenever she comes, she's like, do you need anything? No. I'm going to wash your dishes. No, don't. It's fine. <laughs> I want to find... The sock monster ate this sock yesterday when I was doing laundry. So annoying. Can't do laundry without a missing sock. Ooh, this weather makes me so sleepy. I guess we really can't make my iMac a monitor. That sucks. I'm going to have to order one in order to have a larger screen that I can see when I'm working. That's okay. Work has no problem ordering it for me. It was more for space purposes. I don't want to put a monitor on the wall. It won't look good in my backgrounds and my videos. Maybe I shouldn't think like that because if I can see and I can get work done. It's like one job affects the other at all times. Something's got to give because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. And things are going to get so busy next week. I am actually stressed, stressed at the thought of all the things I have to do next week. I'm going to definitely enjoy today and tomorrow off. That's all I know. I like this, out with the old, in with the new. This is a good vibe for 2023. Well, I've been trying to call Trevor and his phone is off. It was ringing before, but now it's off. Trevor? I took a nap a couple hours ago. Being a shop fairy caught up to me, okay? I can't wait to sleep in the duvet tonight though. I feel like it's gonna be the best rest I've had in a minute. I'm gonna put these in there, then put this away, cause I'm giving up a couple things for the first 21 days of this year, including sweets. And as you go through the vlog, you'll see what else I've given up. Alcohol, obviously. I just wanna give my liver a break and my bank account, cause let's not play. Every time I go and get a cocktail, that is just expensive, so gonna take a break from that to start the year off with clarity Ooh, perfect timing my black rice is ready fajita fajita i know it's fajita i still have some of my fajita filling left so i'm just gonna make a buddha bowl maybe i'll put some flax seeds on top i always keep my three desire words of the year a secret it's just for me and me but I will share one word that didn't make the list, but still kind of matches the sentiment, and it's nourish. I want to feel nourished this year in every ask aspect and angle. I still can't speak. The nap didn't help that much. But <laughs> I think it's very important that you take the time to get aligned with the word you want your year to feel like. It could be ambitious. It can be empowered. It could be at peace. It could be calm. It could be balanced. It could be vitality, it could be whatever you want. Especially if you're like me and you hate goal setting, which I'm gonna to try to get better at this year. It's a good way to get into the habit of thinking of the intention you wanna have for the entire year. I think I could be a pescatarian. I do love chicken though. This is just black rice with red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, and zucchini. Super low key. The thing with veggies is it takes your body a while to get used to 
feeling full. I don't eat meat every day, but I mean, because it's used to be. Thanks, Ridge. <laughs> because I even had it yesterday. It takes a while for my body to get used to when I do veggies for a couple days or weeks. Plus, I find certain veggies are more filling than others. Is that just me? Like, if I eat something with cauliflower, your girl is good. There's something else I wanted to say to you guys, but it fell out of my head. So anyways, I'm gonna sit down and eat this properly, and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. I'm so happy I have tomorrow off. You don't even know. Afternoon, guys. It's day two of the new year. Happy Monday. So happy that I have today off. I've never had Monday after New Year's off before, so this feels like such a treat and I need it to decompress and reset. I'm about to import and transform two of my TikToks so they can upload as YouTube shorts. And then when I'm done that, I'm gonna use some time, take some time to journal out my wants, needs, desires, and goals. I'm not a big goal setter, are you? I just, I've spoken about it on the Patreon pod. Speaking of, I'm going to film that, or record it, I should say, and then I'm going to also record my public pod and have them scheduled for tomorrow, because Tuesdays are my pod day, if you don't know. So stay tuned for that, because we're going to get real personal, especially at the top of this year. I have so many thoughts I want to share that hopefully help you along your way. I made a smoothie earlier today. It's the same as yesterday, which is why I didn't show you. I don't want this first vlog of 2023 to be super boring, so... I'm gonna try to show you different things. Today I did a different workout, so I'm sticking with the doing things differently every day. And I'm on a serious health kick. No sweets, no caffeine, no meat, no dairy. A couple other things, like I'm not supposed to have a certain type of grain. So I have grain-free granola up there that I might have for breakfast tomorrow, we'll see. Eating clean is expensive. I don't care what anybody says, but we're gonna get into that as we get through that. But I'll check in with you guys in a little bit after I get all this stuff done. Time to eat, gonna make a super simple stir fry, plus out with the old. I can't wait to go through my apartment and just get rid of anything that does not serve me. seen you all day I've just been working 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 super boring I'm gonna go out for a bit I'll take you guys with just run a couple errands maybe treat myself since I didn't do takeout in a long time you know I really don't feel like cooking but then I also don't feel like paying money for vegan food some takeout I don't do it often but I figured since I don't want to fight with this I just went to Kaboom King I'll show you what I got in a second what time is it it's already 7 19 so I'm gonna eat and then I have a whole bunch of things to do mm, today has been a whirlwind which is why you haven't seen much of me but that's okay that's how it goes sometimes the scammers are scamming I got three text messages in the time I was out with links I ain't gonna follow that. Have you seen Scammer Payback? Hmm. And then I checked my email, my YouTube email, and I only had one real inquiry. The other five were fake. So that's how we're starting off this year. Scamming at an all time high. You saw yesterday, I didn't even explain to you guys. I went out to get an agenda. I chose to, I sent the other one back today. Who's paying $45 for an agenda? And that's with 15% off. I would, because it was a really pretty one, I can't lie, but it wasn't even a hardcover, and you know, over time, these things do get warped. This is the first time that I hate my agenda. This is so ugly to me, but it's small, it's compact, it doesn't have any lines, which is very important when you're legally blind, because I cannot write between lines. Let's not pretend. And I'm probably going to have to write with a Sharpie this year, because I tried to write with pretty pens last year, and it just wasn't working. I end up taking a photo 
of what I wrote a day ago because I could no longer see my writing. So there's that. Let me show you what I got. Switch camera angles. It's a Christmas one and I should have burned it from when I got it. Uh oh, I knew it. Let's just go with the flow of how today's going. My box opened and I think half my food fell out. I love that. When I went there, the girl was on her phone. She's like, how can I help you? She didn't even look up at me. If I didn't already order online, I would have walked out. But okay, let's see. Oh, it's way smaller than when you order in the restaurant. I hate when they do that. I'm gonna show you what 18 Canadian dollars buys you. Are you seeing that? All veggies, brown rice. I think there's tofu in there too. I'm not too fond of tofu. It kind of looks gross, but it's supposed to be kale, spinach, tofu, brown rice, quinoa, zucchini, and something else. It doesn't even feel warm. Well, let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna have this in a few months. I remember it had more flavor last time. Hmm. Maybe it's a sign. You know what, I'm just gonna call it, I know I just checked in with you guys, but I'm gonna call it a day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a better day. see what was going on can't see my reflection but I try to do the best I could you can let me know what you thought down below I haven't done a grocery haul in a minute so quinoa brown rice some more oh I thought I bruised it it looks like I, oh I did bananas celery mushrooms lots of lemons and eggplant and apple pea bok choy plantain show for this one you know when Back in the day, they used to do movie magic. Whenever they do a cooking show, they'd have the thing and then they swap it out for the other thing that was already done or other ripened. Already ripened, that's what this is right now. Zucchini, which I'm gonna use in a bit. Some teriyaki sauce. I like to mix this with other sauces to give it a little bit of sweetness. Baby corn. This is my favorite kind of corn. Beans for chili. And then there's diced tomatoes. When I was in this store, it took me a really long time to find the aisle that this is in. I memorize when I go to a grocery store, but I'm not familiar with that one yet. I know for next time though, I wasn't sure if this was crushed or diced. I can't see the text even though it's large. I had to zoom in just to confirm. Let's stack, stack, stack. I think I'm gonna spend a little time this weekend YouTubing cupboard organization. I'm such a dork. I need to get that situated though. I'm gonna make this soup really easy, really quick and do a little bit of work. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the way this vlog is going sucks that it's a new year. I don't wanna just make a vlog to make a vlog. So I'm gonna go on hiatus for at least two weeks, but if you still wanna see me, I'll still be on Patreon. And I might, might take a break from social, which is why I've been putting out so many real shorts and TikToks so you have something to watch while I'm gone. I wanna be, posting for posting sake and I don't want to be so busy that I'm taking away from the time that you and I have together so yeah I just want to keep it real yesterday put the dishwasher to set and I completely forgot that I loaded it completely I don't use this often Ay -ay -ay.
morning guys don't come for me don't judge me you know i look a mess but i have to multi-mask you know what time it is when i have the mask on when i have a million things to do but first some green juice i have two masks in my hair by the way that's how dry up my curls are i'm just gonna have a little sip of this the trick is to not put kale in it i don't care what anyone says i don't care how healthy kale is but I cannot have kale in a clear juice. I can put it in a smoothie. I had a dream that I broke my brand new glasses. The ones that I got just before Christmas. I, I dreamt that I broke the stem. It was so weird. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I have to go back to Crane Barrel again. But they didn't have them on sale anymore. And if you know Crane Barrel, you know it's not cheap. It's something I haven't made in a long time. But I have so much oat milk, I might as well make a turmeric latte. I don't know if I'm gonna add cardamom to it. I bought cardamom months ago and I have no idea what to put cardamom in. I just bought it because cardamom. I thought it'd be cool to have cardamom on deck. I don't know, I'm weird. So I'm gonna use oat milk, turmeric. I think I need ginger. I haven't made it in so long, I can't remember. The chai mix I made a couple months ago is really good, but the allspice threw it off, so I haven't made much of it. Uh, is this nutmeg? Or allspice? I can't see. Can you guys tell me if it's allspice or nutmeg? I'll have to zoom in. Oh boy, I could see that a couple weeks ago. Well, barely. Barely, remember that meme? What is this one? Oh, is this ginger? Then what the heck is this one? Cloves? Okay guys, this is ridiculous. And I'm s The thing about star wars disease is you don't know how blind you're gonna get. So I'm tripping out. I've been tripping out. Off camera, I've been having moments in journaling about it because I'm like, if this is how bad I see now, and I never thought I'd see this bad a week ago, much less two years ago, what's going to happen in the future? I hope I plateau. Because some people, it just stops at a certain point and doesn't get worse. And some people are lucky enough that they never go legally blind from Starbucks. Fun fact. Um, that looks like a C. Also, these look like cloves to me. That's cloves, right? And that's ginger. Okay, ginger. No cloves. That's a completely different beverage. I need to organize this disaster. It looks like I like to cook with all the stuff that's packed up in this cupboard, but really, I'm more of a baker. There's just so much. Oh, okay, guys, you're gonna think this is weird. Black pepper is key, trust me. I think I have everything that I need. I don't know if I need nutmeg though. Isn't this so adorable? Jeff gave it to me from Playa something. <laughs> I don't know if he got it from Mexico or Dominican. I'm gonna ask him tonight when I see him. There's something missing. I didn't make gingerbread cookies this year, so I put all the spices that are like that all the way in the back. Tell me if you're like that. Do you pack your fridge or your cupboard or your closet from what you're using for the season and what you're not? My camera shut off. Like, girl, you're talking too much. So let me just do this real quick and I'll show you the finished product. I should be having these every morning. They're so good for your digestion. Past Alicia posted this on her TikToks and IG if you want to check out the recipe. any of the lights across at the next four or five buildings. I can't even text IC without making a typo. That's how bad I am now. Someone did something they weren't supposed to do. Hello, and I was working still. Where's my other phone? Gotta tell. Well, I'm done anyways. It's supposed to be done at five, although I never finish at five. Sit. I wonder if I can even show you guys. You see, none of the buildings have lights either. The power outage started. Where is that accent coming from? I don't know how to say outage properly. It started at 516 and then it stopped at 546. It's now, I don't know, what clock, what time? 
not my phone. Mm -hmm. 6.43, why did I log back on? Because work is never done. Okay, I'm actually gonna say that's that for now. I'm not gonna say for a night because I gotta wash this mask out. It's been in all day and it was only supposed to be in for half an hour. So there's that. And then I wanna get pretty because I'm gonna go out for a little bit tonight. Nothing crazy because you know, I can't drink, I can't indulge, but I can eat some vegan tacos. So that's what we're gonna do. I call them ahead of time to make sure they have corn tortillas. That's how serious it is. <laughs> so let me just get ready and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. sit on the bed to show you this but I can't because my inside you know how it goes no outside clothes on the bed that's a no-go but I went shopping I asked for a bigger bag I thought I was gonna get more groceries and I was gonna toss them in here but I didn't get that many groceries I didn't get that much stuff from Zara I know it looks crazy I think this one is edamame that looks like E so I'm gonna assume it's edamame spaghetti I wanted my usual black bean fettuccine, but they were sold out, which sucks. Cause I went to Whole Foods last week and I'm like, let me not get it here. Cause Farm Boy has it for cheaper. Go to Farm Boy, desolate. Some kombucha, which you guys are gonna think I'm a fool, but I'm gonna put this into a wine glass so I can feel bougie tonight while I'm having dinner. Although though, have I had this flavor before? I zoomed in, it says pineapple coconut. I felt like a tropical vibe. It's kind of giving, I don't know, it's giving very yellow though. Kombucha is like a fermented drink that's carbonated for those of you who don't know. Almond butter! I figured I was in the store. I usually get this from Metro, but Farm Boy has their own brand and I think it was like two or three dollars less. So I'm like, you know what, let me just try it. You know I use almond butter in my smoothies, but I'm also gonna make oat bites. Oat bites are oats that you mix with different things. So usually I put coconut, dark chocolate, almond butter, almond, cashew bits, that type of thing to give it like a nice flavor and crunch. I'm gonna take out the chocolate, ex on the honey. It's probably gonna be really dry, I can't lie, but hey, your girl's restricted right now. I'm so happy that brunch was so good because it tied me over until now and everything that you saw was natural. Even the yogurt, it wasn't there, it was coconut. I'll probably show you guys this tomorrow and I know it's Saturday and I usually end the vlog on a Saturday, but I want to do a little self-care, which means I won't be doing much talking and showing of this. But I have two of these that I've seen. They always release new collections when they start the sale. And I always love the new collection versus what they already have on sale. I have a problem. If I see something for too long, I get bored of it. So even though there's so much on sale at Zara, I'm like over it. I got this Squirt. And then I got a darker shade, which honestly... If I wear this with tights in the winter, it's definitely a good transitional piece. Probably by the spring and summer, I'd want to wear something brighter though, because this color's kind of dreary. And then when I was in line, first of all, I was in the wrong line. But I also went to Aloe, I went to Wilfred, and somewhere else, but I didn't take you anywhere, because I figured, let me just go in, take my time, listen to my podcast, get in and get out. Because whenever I vlog, I want to make it artistic and cinematic for you. That's why I'm always setting up the camera 
on the aisle. I really like this color, but it's very similar. For the girl who has everything. Do you see what I'm saying? Similar but different. I figured this is more of a night outfit. I think this is so sleek and sophisticated. Whereas this is more chic and classic. Well, that's that on that. I'm gonna make my dinner real. Oh, look what just arrived. So at least they put two items in one baggage. So there's two out of five things. I was expecting three packages today, but at least two out of five came. See how ghetto it is. Cause you know it's AliExpress. This is not white. I'm not gonna wear this when I'm working. But I figure it's better than attaching the clip to my clothes because a lot of times it snags and it ruins the bottom of my clothes. So that, super boring, super responsible. Everything I've been getting lately, well, aside from the two squirts, has been for work. And then there's this. Finally, because I needed one for two months now because my AirPods, the case keeps coming off. The Baba reminds me of back in the day when you'd get those little surprise bags, they had them at Ardeen's and Claire. They'd be super random things. You'd pay like five bucks and get like 10 things of super random like hair clips. Afternoon guys, the morning flew away from me. I wanted to show you guys when I went to get some juices from Village Juicery. Shout out to Pam, she's super sweet. I was gonna record when I was in there, but then we started talking about nutrition. She's doing holistic, as you know, I studied, I don't even know what to call. I guess nutrition and food science, that was the name of my undergrad, but I think it's called something different nowadays. Anyway, saying that to say, we had a really good conversation about kale, oxalate, cytokines, that type of thing. And the same with my neighbor, Kevin, the one you always see. We first bonded because we were talking about, oops, camera died. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Kevin, my neighbor friend. We bonded from talking about nutrition at a bar. That's how we got to know each other. I love getting to talk to people about nutrition. It's like a language. You know, if you learn French, you're gonna lose it if you don't practice it. So whenever I meet someone who knows the lingo and the language, I'm here for it. So I got a little carried away because now I'm gonna be late. Well, technically, yeah, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> I have to go all the way to Etobicoke. Why do people live in Etobicoke? But I don't know if I can bring you guys with. I might leave the camera at home because I think it's gonna be super awkward. I'm going to a baby shower from one of my new friends and the only person I know is her and maybe one other person. So I don't know if I wanna whip this camera out because every time I do, people are like, oh, wait, what? And they don't know that I vlog. So I might catch snippets on my phone and then you know the res is not as good. But if I do, I will. If I don't, I'll talk to you guys when I get back. But let me just switch into my outfit real quick so you can see. I'm deciding between two things. Where are my heels? This is the first option, one second. Get heels on, can you see? Probably not. I don't even know if the browns go together. All I do know is it's minus 80 degrees, so your girl's feet will wear tights, because I'm not trying to freeze. This is the first one. Outfit two, you guys have seen before, if you've ever seen me do one of these dress up, dress down type of things, because I always go for that combo. This is my classic go-to when I don't know what to wear outfit. Look put together, but chic. That's me. When the shoes don't match. If only, you know if I had a pair of shoes for every dress I owned, for the winter, I'd have no space in my apartment. I have plenty of shoes, but they're open toe. I live in Toronto, I don't know. I need to change locations. I prefer this outfit, honestly, but I don't think, <laughs> no, it's a no for me with the shoes. <laughs> Instead of doing what I thought I was going to do, I might do it about caring. 
I don't know why that just popped into my head. Hopefully Ed and Alicia will remember what I said and put it on the list. If it's not for Tuesday, it'll be one of the Tuesdays this month. It was good to get out and get to meet some of Allison's family and friends. She's expecting twins. That's crazy. Asset. I might have to reconsider the application for motherhood because when all those kids were running around there, they're so cute though. I don't know though. I never wanted a kid for the longest time. I'm like, no, no, no. Everyone's like, oh, eventually one day you will. I'm like, no, rather die. I know that's dramatic, but... So five, six years ago, I was like, you know what? I could have just one and I'd be good with that. And I kind of still feel like that, but I'm also at the place where I'm like, I'm okay if I do, I'm okay if I don't, you know what I'm saying? But I remember a lot of my 20s, people would shame me for not wanting to be a mother. I thought it was so weird. Oh, but it's a woman's instinct. No, it's not. Where do you get that from? Everyone is different, having a different experience. So, yeah. So I'm a shower switch into a comfy outfit and start editing this vlog. So this is the end of it. I hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, comment down below what your favorite moment was. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.